the constituency to which he devoted so much of his life. Today marked the loss of Sir David Amos in an atmosphere of shock and disbelief. Outside his office, those he represented and those too young to vote lay flowers to remember a man who championed South End with boundless energy. No one deserves anything like that. Whatever you think about politically, it's just, well, just feel for his family. You know, he's a respected member of our community and, yeah, just really, really sad day. Among those reflecting here today, those who may have disagreed with his politics but had enormous respect for his commitment to the area. Sir David was everywhere around this constituency at all times and although um, the cut and thrust of politics put us on opposite sides, perhaps more often than we're on the same side, this isn't the way we do politics in this country. In the church over the road, prayers for an MP whose strong religious beliefs undoubtedly motivated his public service. But his support of local churches transcended his own Catholic faith. He'd often be seen here celebrating an elderly constituent's birthday as he would attending mass at his own church. David was uh, instrumental in our community, very supportive of the church. You know, there's going to be a lot of very shocked and upset people and uh, we can't believe it's happened. He represented Southend through various boundary changes for almost four decades, personifying Essex man. Socialism in Basildon and in Britain tonight has been defeated. His victory in 1992 was a watershed moment on election night. Down the years, there was one particular issue he relentlessly campaigned on. Southend-on-Sea, with its many and various qualities, should already be a si city. Yeah. Southend becomes a city. How Southend will become a city. While he was earnest about his politics, he rarely took himself seriously. This is the photo he released on learning he'd been knighted. Animals were a passion for Sir David, campaigning on their welfare and loving their company. Those at his local sailing club were today remembering a dynamic friend. I think his majority was 15,000 and I suspect he's spoken to 15,000 people because if you look in the local paper it would appear that he could be in several different meetings at once because he was forever at everything. If you asked, invited him to come to the opening of something he would be there and he'd be supporting his community. Tonight South End has lost its champion. An MP whose strong views may not have been shared by everyone, but a man generous of spirit who managed to make those across the political divide smile with his humour and humanity. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Southend.